Good day people. Today I'm going to do a little pour out of some of the paints that I pre-mixed yesterday. I was, did a video which probably be on before this one of custom making some, making some custom colours of your own um, showing you what to mix in and and how to do it. So if you haven't seen that video on customizing some of your colors, uh, you might find find that interesting. So I can't get, oh, gloves, okay, start again. Can't get my gloves on. Maybe my hands are a little bit wet. Oh, oh my goodness, what's going on? Sorry about that. Just trying to get the gloves on and they're just not happening. That's my sausage fingers, sausage fingers. As my kids would say oh, okay that's one anyway what I'll begin to show you is um, if you don't already know that it's always helpful to you <laughs> to get some masking tape if you like to keep the back of your canvases nice and clean is to masking tape them up with this masking tape you just get from most hardware shops and just run it along the back if you're going to gloss coat your piece when it's finished dried and cured then keep the masking tape on till you put your gloss on then as soon as you have peel your masking tape off and it leaves the back of your canvases pretty clean a lot cleaner than if you didn't do it um, these a lot of people have these in the back of the canvases and and believe it or not don't know what to do with them well, what it is for is to stretch the canvas stretches basically little uh, timber pegs and you'll see these little divots in the back of your canvas so you just slide the bottom one in first if it if it's tight and needs a little bit of a hammer put it on a flat surface and hammer it until it goes in these don't they're not tight just make sure you don't hammer it right out the other side because that's not what you want this one just pushes in what it does is help stretch your canvas keeps your canvas in better taut condition so that's what those little pegs are for which lots of people have said to me I wondered what those were for so just a couple of little things I just wanted to point out before I started so I have um a mix of colours here which I'll show you and uh, tell you which ones they are as I go along but because a lot of them were custom made um, like I said the previous video I did to this one was showing you how you make these custom colours so my dogs decide that they're gonna have a good old try and block the sound out good old Barney out there so I'm just gonna go through some custom colours this kind of particular colours would probably be really good to do a kind of classy on trend artwork so here we go what am I going to go with I am going to go with this really deep crimson that I made kind of it's so deep on aubergine probably more so than crimson crimson get really mixed up with that name as I do lots of things but anyway this is a really deep crimson crimson so I'm going to do some wiggles up and down it as I said each time you do these paintings and you do a different track of colors it's what making sure <coughs> excuse me that they never turn out the same so that was the crimson I am going to go sounds like a real motley crew of colors these but they kind of will work this is the rose gold that I made up so I made up the crimson and I've got the recipe in my previous video this is a rose gold which is made up out of the uh, metallic copper and silver I make a really nice rose gold It's kind of deep moody colours, aren't they? Right, where do we go? Okay, I'm going to add 
Then uh, the other custom colour that I made up was this aubergine. Uh, blah, blah, hang on, rewind. Advocado. I've got, again, the recipe for making the avocado. So it's a really nice avocado colour. Uh, that goes into, I'm not going to change my direction with this. So this is going to really make like an on-trend, classy kind of look where I've been doing lots of real bright. This is going a little bit classier. We're going to go a little bit posher on this one. As <laughs> my English roots would say, this is a little bit posh. So I'm going to, okay, I showed you as well how to make this russet colour. So I'm going to just wave the russet about instead of pouring it on. All of these different ways that I've got with creating my artwork always turn out different pieces every time. Just different things show up in them. The only, I'm going to just wave a bit of the gold this is metallic gold just plain metallic gold my recipe for what's gone into them and what i've used to create my pouring medium if you look down the bottom of the video there's a little arrow i think it's that side might be that side <laughs> uh, just press on it and then it will drop down and it'll show you my um, recipe and what i've done to create the pouring medium and what i've done to, to create uh, the paint mix and I think I might have a list to my supplier for the Helmar silicon and maybe some to the Montmartre paints. But anyway, you'll usually find it down there. So this is a little bit of gold. Just gonna put it in because it will come through. Okay, last but not least is the pearl white white so I don't want to pour this on but I do want to give it a good so yeah these are these are the classy posh colors very classy posh colors simply delicious and absolutely gorgeous as one would say except me because I'm common <laughs> Okay, in a weird mood, aren't I, today? Okay, oh my goodness, that is... Okay, when you're tilting, just be mindful to do it slowly and always reposition your paint back, centre it again so you don't end up with your paint all down one end. Don't worry if you haven't covered all of your edges because you can just finger pop that afterwards and cover it but I have got enough paint on this particular canvas to make sure that that's all covered wow we that looks pretty good if I do say so myself that looks pretty pretty nice pretty posh piece a pretty posh piece okay so it's just finger popping it all the way around just allow it to settle for a second or two somebody asked me are you adding silicon to all of your colors well at one time i didn't used to add silicon to a swipe but because i just make up my whole lot of paints and continue painting till they're gone i just add the two to four drops of helmar silicon in everything and I stir it in well. I don't go with the belief just stir it two times because that's when you get left with big globules of paint. But this way it'll still help you create cells and a certain look about certain movement in your paint uh, in your end work, but it won't all sit on the top when it's finished if you get my drift. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to use, this is a black, I don't normally like swiping in black or white, but I'd previously made up this black, 
So I'm actually going to swipe in the black. I'm going to take it from the center. Just a very thin line, as you see. Very thin line. Walk the thin line. But yeah, that avocado has really taken over that, but the magic will happen. Get my trusty. I know somebody um, sent me a message. I love watching your swipes, but I'm absolutely crap at swipes. I just like just persevere because you get so much out of it. You can create such oh, just such beautiful canvases come out of swiping. They never turn out the same. They create some lovely effects. So keep persevering. And this is the trusty plastic file divider that I just cut off the tab. So I've got a nice, I haven't cut off this there, I just use that end to hold it with. So okay, it's just let your very tip of your, but you don't, and you just gently let it drag across the top of your work, very slowly and very gently. Okay, again, I wanna thank you all for the lovely, lovely comments I've been having and and thank you for joining me on my Facebook art page, um, Acrylic Art by Julie Cube. I had lots of new members, that's so lovely to see you all there. Just wiping that in between. Just another gentle swipe. I mean, just this is so therapeutic. If ever you've got cares and troubles, to lock yourself away for a couple of hours and just do some art, it really is therapeutic. And especially if you join an art community like we've got on YouTube and the Facebook art pages, where most 99% of the time people help and uh, put constructive criticism and are kind. It's a really nice place to, to be when you've got any problems or anxieties it's just a, a lovely thing to do to help you I find okay so I'm just wiping off in between every swipe you think oh my goodness that's really taken over everything but the truth will be revealed one second okay well, that looks dark and mysterious. I'm getting some little cells popping up. Obviously the avocados come through, but so is that crimson, the aubergine. So what will happen is when I do bring the cells up further with my butane torch, the black will be what outlines it all. So here we go. Okay, my butane torch. Just get the, the gas cylinder from a camping shop. Probably get about 10 gas cylinders for less than $10 and the actual self-igniting head, self-ignition head off eBay, less $10, $12. So oh, if you're a bit scared of having these, then stick with your cake brulee torch. So I'm going to do my clusters on this one which is just bringing the torch up and down slowly not keeping the torch on there for very long at all okay it's funny because this one isn't making clusters it might be because that black was pre-made not even sure what pouring medium I had in the black but the rest of it I've got my normal um, Elmer's glue all in some odd shaped cells coming up there some stars and triangles so i'm thinking that the glue in the black that i used may have been the um archive quality glue that gave me a bit of funny funny happenings there's another video on that too but anyway this is interesting and i can tell you those colors will come up gorgeous but what's happening this odd shaped cells and I absolutely think that's because I've used the black but oh, some of them are coming up just gorgeous I don't know if you can see so well with the camera lens 
but those will continue to develop so I always try and put some photographs at the end of my video of how they have stretched out and, and morphed but there you go now some would like it exactly like that or, or probably better that it when it's left it'll just stretch out I will might turn the video off leave it for a couple of hours and then come back and you can see how it'll have changed so I might do that for you um, I'll give one balloon dip maybe two just to let you see the different colors that it brings through my little yellow balloon today just just in the darkest color because it just brings all the other colors underneath through this aubergine 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 okay wow yeah I'm gonna leave it at that I'm gonna do <laughs> do what I don't normally I'm gonna leave it at that I'm gonna just turn the video off and come back and, and let it morph a bit and I'll put photos on as well before it morphs and after it morphs and then I'll come back and do some more balloon dipping because those are turning out really interesting and I'm really liking it so thank you very much for watching see you again in a minute go a bit closer for you just do this before I go oh look at that that is actually turning out lovely really nice thank you so okay we're back it's about an hour I would say later um, so you can see that the painting has morphed even the two balloon kisses that I put in there have morphed that don't look like balloon kisses but they're still got given these lovely effects this is probably yeah moved a little bit more than I expected but it's still very lovely I'm gonna do some balloon kissing and um, yeah see what we come up with because even after the balloon kissing it will just cr help create a, another little life of its own and I, I think this one needs it so I'm going to do it <laughs> so with the balloon everybody some people have asked her oh, what do you do so it's just a balloon that's soft or you can have different sizes you can have little tiny balloons to do little tiny kisses you can have bigger ones for bigger kisses but this one I'm just going to go over with this particular balloon so you're just pressing it into the work and as you can see the paint's dried a bit so it's not all falling in now I'm just going to go over those two original kisses so you can hear my poodles going crazy because I have one dog in heat and I've kept her away in the house but oh my gosh he's a pain up the butt hooks excuse me keep your mouth shut <laughs> um, yeah he's a pain because he's whinging and whining to get to my female which I'm trying to keep him away so so usually I do try and wipe off in between each swipe unless I want to take a colour that I get from one area down to an another area so see it brings up this real lovely avocado and the um, rose gold is coming up more as well so you can do a roll which is just basically roll it off creates another little spray effect roll it off there I'm just wiping it in between each one on this one so, that's another one I'll just roll it off here yeah that real deep deep crimson or aubergine it looks so nice with the avocado really nice as I've done a video customizing these colors so that's how you'll get the colors if you wanted to give them a try they are gorgeous colors they don't always show up so well on the uh, camera if anybody out there is in camera land and knows what's a really good camera for filming colors true and you know that can use for filming my YouTube 
uh, videos, please give me a hoy and let me know because if it's affordable, I can put it on my wish list <laughs> so I can do better videos. Because mostly I'm stopped filming on my camera because it's not working so good these days, and it's so I'm mostly filming with my iPad and iPhone. So I don't which are pretty good considering but not obviously as good as could be so yeah it's just as you've seen what I'm doing I'm just gently pressing the balloon it's not just the light press it I mean you press it but not too hard that you're going to go through the canvas you can do different things with the balloon you can twist you can roll as I've showed you but I'm not going to do any more to that because you know what that is super duper super duper absolutely gorgeous look at that wow we now if i did that on a large canvas i would absolutely have no trouble it being snapped up because that's really classy looking it's a posh one i'm going to call this my posh paw it's very posh paw gone of the bright vibrant tropical colors for this week and it's posh pouring <laughs> okay you've heard enough of me thank you very much for joining me thanks so much for your positive feedback um, and that's it I'm very very grateful and very uh, thankful that you all join me on this journey of art and therapy so until next time thank you Oh, just one second I'll just give you a close-up oh oh look at that oh that's so gorgeous oh my goodness I get excited every time thank you